got to take them. You know what I'm saying? Let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brussin back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Oh, my God. Marty back. Marty back. And, and, and you know, brilliant move. Brilliant move. I'm going to tell you why it's a brilliant move. None of these guys are coming in with the expectations of wanting to be the man as far as play calling is concerned. This is not none of these guys' expectation, man. The expectation is to, well, 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 the job description is to help Doug Peterson get the offense to the next level. You got pieces coming back, Deshaun Jackson. You got guys that have developed right before our eyes, Greg Ward, Boston Scott. You have guys that, that are coming into the draft who are going to benefit, who are going to benefit from these coaches who've been around, these seasoned, these seasoned individuals. Now, a lot of people want to, you know, come down on Marty for like, you know, I guess being past happy in the Andy Reid era. But the truth of the matter is this. We've seen Andy Reid in multiple settings. Andy Reid is the past happy guy. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's Andy Reid. So you really can't blame nobody else for, for following the direction of the coach. Now, if now, now being as though Marty doesn't have Mar Marty doesn't have a title per se, but Marty is probably the most experienced offensive coordinator on the roster we have we have offensive coordinators on our roster we have offensive guys offensive minded coaches who can be offensive coordinators and head coaches in the nfl on our roster as just consultants to doug peterson man that's huge everybody wants to be a part of the development of carson wentz and i gotta say man honestly this is feeling like the beginning of a big big season for the philadelphia eagles it's feeling like the beginning of a big season first you get you, you first, first, first you 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 know you know you establish that I just can't say enough about what the Eagles front office did with this move. They paid attention to the they paid attention to the uh, the details that were lacking from last season. Number one, a lot of people had a lot of gripes and concerns about the offense and and and, and questionable play calling by Doug Peterson. These guys have been brought in. Aaron Moorhead. Uh, these guys have been brought in. Marty. A lot of these guys have been brought in to assist Doug Peterson in those areas like that where we felt as though Doug Peterson was challenged. Now, I think Doug Peterson did his job last season to the best of his ability due to, you know, all the injuries and stuff like that. But, man, this is a powerhouse move, man. I'm telling you, everybody wants to be a part of the development of Carson Wentz. Everybody. And I think that, you know, by week nine, we'll start looking like we're going to the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm, you, you know, a move like this tells me that the Philadelphia Eagles offense next season will be back to averaging 27 points a game, something like that. And, I, and, 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 and you know, the vertical threat of Deshaun Jackson is going to open up so much for Carson Wentz. The vertical threat of whoever we draft, maybe in a Henry Ruggs or anything like that, is going to open up so much for Carson Wentz. And all of these coaches that are going to be in Carson Wentz's air who've been around the block, you're talking about dudes that have been around Andy Reid. You're talking about dudes that have been around Doug Peterson. You know what I mean? The, the, the tutelage, the, the, the preparation. You're talking about guys who have coached in Super Bowls. You know, Carson Wentz is going to do nothing but benefit from a stacked deck like this as far as coaches go. So, you know, we, you know, you know about what has to happen when 21 hits. Now, as I was saying, if Lamb is available, if Ruggs is available, if Judy is available at 21, then you just got blessed. You can stay right there and you can solve a lot of problems with the 21st pick in the draft. But if all three of those guys are gone, you got to start looking at Jefferson. You got to start looking at dudes like that. Yeah, because those guys, those, those guys have enormous talent. And those guys can also be, you know, very helpful to the cause without having to move up or, or do anything crazy to acquire that type of talent. You can look at Mims if all else fails. You know what I mean? It's tears to wide receivers in this draft based upon where they should be drafted. That doesn't, act, that doesn't necessarily, for all we know, Mims could be the best wide receiver in this draft. Claypool could be the best wide receiver in this draft. You never know. The, the, the draft is just that deep. K.J. Hill, K.J. Hamler, Van Jefferson, Jalen Ragar, it's somebody going to be there at 21. So, you know, it would it would be in the Philadelphia Eagles' best interest, in my opinion, to stay put unless the opportunity presents itself to move up for somebody with like um, for like a C.D. Lamb or a, a Henry Ruggs. I believe those two guys are special. I believe you have to take a chance on those two guys. But if those guys aren't there, 
and, and you know what I mean? I think you could get the job done. You know, I've seen a lot of mock drafts that got that got Jerry Judy sliding down to 21. So you never know how this thing pan out, man. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait to see what happens with that. Uh, Dak Prescott news, man. They saying Dak Prescott is, um, you know, they offered him 33 mil a year. Um, I think 105 in guarantees. I don't know if that's a three-year extension or not. I'm not an accountant or, or, or a crazy numbers guy, but I mean, they trying to let they trying to make him feel wanted, and that's cool. You know what I mean? I want him to get the deal done for Dak Prescott. I, I actually I actually want Dak to get his money. I'm gonna tell you why. It has nothing to do about me thinking he trash or nothing like that. I just know that we know about Dak. Dak gonna shrink in the moments. You've seen you've seen the numbers. One and seven against playoff teams last year? Yeah, pay him. Pay him. Pay the man. Pay the man. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going I'm to give you a bold prediction this year. I, I guarantee you this. The Philadelphia Eagles will sweep the Dallas Cowboys next year. We ain't worrying about the Cowboys. The Cowboys going to take a step back. Now, I'm not a Byron Jones guy, but I believe that Byron Jones really helped them out. Now, if Byron Jones don't play for the Cowboys with how weak that safety position is. Now, they got to short it. They got to do something in this draft. Because Listen, you can't pay Dak. You can't pay Cooper. And you can't pay Byron Jones. You paid all them dudes on defense, didn't even make the playoffs. You about to pay a quarterback who specializes in going eight and eight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 welcome, I hope everybody in Dallas get their money. It ain't no urgency for them to be great. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no urgency for them to be great. Come on. That, that, this was supposed to be a proof. 